Hi, this is Chris Cody, Learn to Fish. Today, we're going to take some of Greg's favorite colors in a countdown, and I'm going to try to reproduce it with my airbrush. So the first step is to remove the hooks and split rings and tape the bills that we do not want to get painted. After that, we took a couple and we shot them with some white primer. Just to review, this is some of the equipment I'm using to paint some of Greg's lures today. I am just a beginner painter, so don't take this as any expert. I'm going to put that disclaimer in. And I use an Iwata HP Eclipse airbrush with a little airbrush compressor, and I use Createx paint, airbrush paints, and an assortment of others. Nice collection you got here, Chris. But mostly Createx, some inks. And it looks like you got a nice little station right here. Yes, I built a little booth with a filter and a bath fan to kind of keep the paint fumes and everything, keep the family happy. <laughs> so he's got his little uh, setup right here, pretty nice. The, the vent is actually the whole back of this, so... Then the other important thing I think that he's talking about is all his drying racks that he has so that he can let it hang. So right now what we have Chris doing is he's actually taking uh, some of my Countdown Rapalas and what he's doing is he's applying a primer to it to get it from its base color to at least something that he can start developing off of. So he'll put the primer on, let it dry. How long does it take to dry? Just a couple couple minutes. I, after I'm all done with the whites, we'll heat set them with a hair dryer, and then we can immediately go to a separate color. Okay, I see you're using a hair dryer. Why are you using the hair dryer? It just aids in the drying so I can apply another coat. It takes about 10 or 15 seconds with the hair dryer. Whereas if I were just to let it hang, it'd take a minute or two to wait to apply a second coat. So it really allows you to do it quicker. 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 Yep. So I can see, you know, how you're talking about, you can see it's wet because it's wet, uh, glossy looking. So what are you doing here, Chris? We're just flush, we're doing a color change. So we're cleaning the brush, airbrush out. So what, what are you actually, what are you putting in your painter? Just water. Just water? Yep. And then spray it out? Just water, flush it out. Here are the few of the stencils that I will use to put the lines on the lures. So now what we're doing is applying the herringbone pattern to the lure to try to replicate the lure that we're going after. Just putting some eyes on with a paint marker. Last step in replicating Greg's lure today is dipping in our KBS clear coat.
So we're gonna let it drain off for a while. Yeah, we'll let it drip and then we'll put it in the rack to hang to dry. And then how long are you gonna let it hang? 24 hours. And then once the hanging's done, then we're going to put the hardware back on, huh? Yeah, we'll put the hooks back on and it's ready for you to catch some fish. Awesome. I'll tell you, you know, it, it, it's amazing how we took uh, a lure that's similar to this and we wanted to replicate something like this because this was really hot opener last year. And look, what we did is we decided to go with orange. I mean, orange is, I think, a fantastic lure color, especially on the belly. So we're going to be using this at midnight of opener in Wisconsin.